And sadly, as the mayor man mentioned, we have troubling news to report with regard to an outbreak. Tomorrow's case of coronavirus, case numbers of coronavirus will be significantly higher um, once we factor in new test results from the MSC South shelter. On Sunday, we confirmed that two guests of MSC South, San Francisco's largest homeless shelter, had tested positive for COVID-19 and were moved into isolation hotels where they are in good condition. With those first steps, my department took immediate ac action to, con to contact to conduct contact investigations and test people who were close contacts showing symptoms or at-risk exposure. As the test results started to come back and we saw the extent of the spread, we moved on Wednesday to test all guests and staff at the shelter. On Wednesday, there were five positive cases at MSC South. Today, there are 70. There are currently 71 test results that are negative and three results are still pending. We have always known that the, from the data that this virus can take off quickly. And we are prepared to provide aggressive responses, especially in congregate settings and high risk populations. From the beginning, an area of concern and from the beginning of our response, a prioritized population. Unfortunately, the moment is now upon us. I would like to assure San Franciscans that this outbreak does not mean there is significantly greater risk to the general public. However, it is a very serious matter. Though not unexpected, we are very concerned about the health of the people at MSC South. Many of them have chronic health conditions and are vulnerable to getting very sick or even dying from coronavirus. We are doing everything we can for them and to reduce the size of the outbreak. We have taken and will continue to take aggressive action to preserve health and safety. Every step of the way, the Department of Public Health has been working closely with the Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing and with the operator of MSC South, the St. Vincent de Paul Society, to follow our congregate setting protocols, cleaning and disinfecting the shelter, screening and testing residents and staff, and, and conducting an investigation to identify close contacts of the people who tested positive. These efforts continue and are intensifying as the situation changes. Currently, my department is conducting a mass testing strategy at MSC South, testing all guests and staff for COVID-19 whether they are showing symptoms or not. Again, as of this morning, DPH had tested 144 guests and staff. Of these, 68 guests and two, sta and two staff have tested positive for COVID-19. At this point, none of these people are seriously ill. One former guest of the shelter is in the hospital. We are now converting MSC South into a medical facility to care for people who are living with coronavirus. This new recovery center will be staffed by our Dep the Department of Public Health nurses and doctors, experts, who will provide care, monitor patients, and arrange transport to hospitals if their conditions worsen. This solution has been part of our emergency planning scenarios from the beginning and is the best one to preserve the health and safety of the shelter community. It will reduce transports and collate patients with a dedicated staff of healthcare professionals who can attend their needs. Staff members who have tested positive have, are being offered places in isolation hotels if they do not have a safe alternative in their own homes. This offering of hotel rooms will continue for staff who test positive 
at this and other shelters across the city. Other guests are being moved out to hotels as well. On a case-by-case -case basis, depending on the guest's condition and exposure, we are working with our partner agencies to place each person in an appropriate setting, whether it's an isolation or quarantine site or a shelter-in-place hotel. This is a 24-hour, round-the-clock operation, and the situation and numbers are changing. The Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing and the Human Service Agency are leading the effort to move guests out of MSC South, while the Department of Public Health will continue to focus on providing excellent expert medical care, testing, and contact tracing. 